So, grammar translation method. Uh, this method has several names. It is called Prussian method. Why it is called Prussian method? Because GTM started its journey with some scholars. And they are the German scholars. And Prussia is historically a state of Germany. So the German scholars who initiated this method, they had been living in Germany. In which state? Prussia. And for this region, this method is called Prussian method. This is the history. This method is also known as classical method. Classical method in which sense we know the term, the meaning of the term that is the classic. Classic means the supreme in its quality. When Sachin Tendulkar hits a ball a very superb, superb way, then we can call it classic shot, isn't it? But this GTM is not the classic method it then, it then, in that sense. It is the classic method in which way? Because GTM was applied to study the classical literature. Classical literature of it, Sicherio, Virgil, Homer, that means the classical literature, the Latin literature, the literature of Roman civilization, that literature in order to study that kind of literature, a method was necessary and initiated. What is the method? GTM. And for this reason, GTM is called classical method. Okay. And it is also called oldest method. Oldest method means direct method, audio lingualism. They have started their journey after the second half of 19th century or 18th century, 19th century. However, GTM started its journey from 17, uh, 14, 15, 16, 17. In that sense, GTM is the oldest language learning and teaching method. So, first time is GTM, grammar translation method. It has named another name, Prussian method. It has another name, classical method. It has, okay, and the method which was mentioned by B. Sears, an American classic teacher, he told about this method. Which method? Gamma translation method in his book published in 1845. 1845, that means first half of 19th century. And the title in that book was the Cicero, Ciceronian or the Prussian method of teaching the elements of the Latin language. Whenever you will be asked to write about the history of grammar translation method, we have to tell this. This is classical method. This is old method. This is the brainchild of some German scholar. And it is it is started its journey with some German scholars, and for this reason, it is said that is German GTM is the brainchild of some German scholars. Got it? And for this reason, some leading GTM exponent like Johann Seidin Stuckert, Karl Polch, S. H. Ollendorf, and Johann. Made injured, claim that the GTM is the brainchild of the German Scholar. scholarship. Though GTM is the only language learning method, one critic criticized GTM. First time they got criticism. Actually, when the people of this world they had been requiring so many uh, requirements of language learning. Previously, one time of one kind of requirements of language learning was there, that is to study the classical literature. That is their perspectives. There was no immigration, there was no other things. Okay, and for this region, GTM is the oldest method, language learning and teaching. Okay, but whenever 
the gtm got its ground well many other critics they critiqued the method gtm in several way one of them it is that is that is he said that one critic criticized gtm as the gtm is to know everything about something rather than the thing itself so the first criticism gtm got that is actually jack of all trades but master of no master of of not or in that period or in that perspective which on which it is supposed to do that means gtm is supposed to teach language and learning language learning and teaching according to that critic he said that gtm can't fulfill that kind of language learning and teaching scenario why the answer will be come later on okay so in such a way the gtm started its journey the goal of foreign language teaching that means the goal of gtm is study to learn language in order to read its literature that means old method gtm first time why we want to learn a language first time in case of gtm the goal of learning a language that means latin language is to study the latin literature that was the goal of gtm in order to benefit from the mental discipline and intellectual development mental discipline okay mental discipline we may have physical discipline in such a way that means we can go for gymnastics okay that means that your muscle will be very in good shape okay like that in case of gtm that is a mental gymnastics that means through the mental exercise you will be learn or you will learn a language that is the mental development and also the intellectual development is intellectual development that is cognition and others the result from the foreign language study gaha translation is a way of studying language that approaches the language first through detailed analysis of grammar rules first thing grammar translation first word what is that grammar so grammar rules is the first priority followed by the application of the knowledge task by translating sentences translating second grammar translation second translation translation in which way translation from target language to mother tongue and vice versa so translation is the second component of this uh, 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 gtm method and text into out in, into and out of the target language it hence views language learning as a consisting of a little more than memorizing rules so in terms of grammar rules you have to memorize the rule what type of rules grammar rules and the other rules and the facts relating to that language you are learning okay so that is the first language is maintained as a reference system in the acquisition of second language acquisition the first language what is our first language mother tongue bangla is our first language so in this system gamma translation method mother tongue will be the reference system that means every learner and teacher will be allowed to use their mother tongue in case of learning the target language what is the target language any latin english language so first gamma rules second one translation okay and third one the mother tongue uses of mother tongue will be there and learning the mother rules whenever you will be memorizing the grammatical rules your uh, your memory that means the intellectual mental discipline will be there and your cognition will be there through the process of reading and writing how intellectual development it is said that one time writing is equal to 10 times <coughs> reading one time writing is equal to 10 times so in this method reading and writing is focused are focused and for this reason a mental discipline and as well as the intellectual development will be there through the goals of this method for this reason reading and writing are the major focus we know that in a language there are four skills what are the skills reading writing and speaking and Yes. Our grammar translation method will be focusing major on reading and writing. 
writing. And little or no systematic attention is paid in case of the other component of English language or language skill that is speaking and listening. Little or less or no importance or speaking and listening. So this is the good side in which way that means reading and writing will help you to your mental gymnastics. But at the same time, it is the negative side that it will not be focusing more on speaking and listening. Vocabulary selection is based solely on the reading text used. Okay. Previously, when we had been reading in class 6, 7, in the previous session, at the time of grammar translation method, actually we started in Bangladesh, we had been following grammar translation method up to uh, 1980 decades. Okay. We had been following GTM. Okay. At that time, what we do it, there are several things over there. That means in order to learn the vocabulary, Pottekta, Boyer, Chapter, Shuru, Parar, Agi, Ki, Thakta, Word, Meaning, Gulu, Thakta. Amra, Ekta, Text, Porte, Chachi, Ekta, Golpo, Porte, Chachi, Guide, Boy, Gulu, Te, Ki, Thakta. Pothamoto, Word, Meaning. Shop, Gulu, Word, Meaning, Thakta. Ebang, Tar, Pore, Amra, Shuru, Kore, Chiki, Gama, Shuru, Kore, Chiki, Bhabe. Parts of his piece, Te, Shuru, Kore. Parts of his piece, Tar, Pore, Gender, Tar, Pore, Kholo, Masculine, Aje, Ki, Jano, Singular, Plural. Tar, Pore, Ki, Eche, Tense. Tar, Pore, Eche, Hosso, Blah, Blah, Blah. So we started from the very roots of the gamma rules and the roots of the vocabulary. These are the basic roots of this gamma translation yeah. method. So in typical, so and how many of you have uh, a dictionary right now? Hard copy. Okay, number is less. Number is less. And. Why? My question is intended for this reason. That is, now we are not habituated to use dictionary. But GTM, when GTM had been applied, AT Dev Dictionary, Bangla Academy Dictionary, they had been hugely popular. And we have to purchase this in order to study language. Okay. So, and why that happened so? That is, you have to learn the vocabulary of the target language in order to study the language. There is no alternative way. You have to study the and for this reason, these vocabulary items, that is peer support, word meaning, and other things were applied solely in gamma translation method. Words are taught through bilingual words leads, dictionary study, memorization, which are the basic tenets or characteristics of gamma translation method. You have no alternative way to memorize the vocabulary, eh, to learn the language. That was the core component of GTM. In the in a typical grammar translation text, the grammar rules are presented and illustrated. Presented and illustrated. Okay, ER analysis. Okay, presented. So what is the problem? Grammar and uh, grammar structure will be analyzed, and at the same time, the rules will be analyzed. Grammar rules you have to memorize, and at the same time, you have to analyze the grammatical rules in order to memorize the grammatical rules and also the grammatical items, okay? And presented with their translation equivalents and translation exercise are prescribed. Translation exercise are prescribed. In SSC examination earlier, of course, there was a passage translation, isn't it? Yes. Passage translation and sentence translation. Why? That is the method that is we had been following at the time GTM, that is gamma translation method. The sentence is the basic unit of teaching, language practice. Okay, so we start with sentence, sentence, basic unit, the structure of the sentence. Okay, and uh, center, heart and uh, agreement, heart agreement. Okay, okay, and also subject verb agreement. So these are the mass of the lesson is divided. Yes. Uh, sir, GTM focuses on reading and writing at first, but, uh, but at first we need to learn vocabulary and then grammar, grammar. Yes. Yeah. So, vocabulary, grammar rules is the first. Okay. And in order to learning the vocabulary, that will help you to translate the target text or the target language. Apni jay bhushara chikchen, sheta korar jurno, translation korar jurno, e jenis gulo lagwe. Kun jenis gulo? Vocabulary lagwe? Grammar lagwe. Okay. 
Okay. So much of the lesson is devoted in translating sentences. Much of the lesson means what did I say? Then is the vocabulary. Vocabulary is needed for the translation. Grammar rules. Why it is necessary? It is needed for translation. So grammar, translation, grammar and translation are interlinked to for the effective language learning and teaching. Uh, accuracy is emphasized. Accuracy means whenever grammar translation will be applied, that means you have to be accurate. You can, many of you have the experience that if, if we would make mistakes in case of grammar, in case of spelling, naturally in grammar translation method, it is not treated well. Other will say, teacher will say, oh, you don't know this gamma. You don't know the spelling of this very word. That means accuracy. Why such intention was arrived? In GTM, you have to be accurate. Accurate in which perspectives? In grammatical rules and spelling. I didn't say about pronunciation. So accuracy, that means spelling and students are expected to attain high standard of translation because of the high priority attached to meticulous standard of accuracy. Meticulous means very wise, uh, calculative. So meticulous standard of accuracy which as well as having an link intrinsic moral value and was the prerequisite of the passing of the increasing number of the formal written examination that grew up during the century. So, and that grammar accuracy was also applied. Why? Because you had to sit for the written examinations at the time. Because this GTM will be dealing the two aspects, reading and writing. So if you can make mistakes in case of your write-up, then that would be treated negatively in case of language learning phenomena. And for this reason, accuracy is important in GTM. Grammar is taught deductively, okay, very effectively. And by the presentation of the study of grammar rules, which are prescribed through the translation exercise. Okay? And in most uh, grammar translation texts, a syllabus is followed the sequencing of grammar point to a text. Okay, I okay, then we have come. Goal then syllabus. What would be the syllabus then? What is your target? You want to teach grammar and translation. And for this reason, we have to select our item in our syllabus. What would be the select? That means in case of grammatical rules, I have said, that means we start from sentence structure. Then parts of speech. Parts of speech is relating to grammar. Parts of speech, the sentence, then tense, then voice, then narration. These are all relating to in terms of vocabulary. What would be the syllabus? Fill in the gaps with the words. That means fill in the gaps with the words. That means you have to understand the meaning of the words. Then uh, pairs of word. Pairs of word will be the, there in case of the syllabus, in case of GTM. Antonym and synonym. Antonym and synonym will be there. And suffix and prefixes will be there. Okay. This will be done for the study of vocabulary. And the syllabus, if you want to teach English language following GTM, then you have to follow this syllabus. That means the grammatical based syllabus and also the component will be the vocabulary in terms of learning the vocabulary. So in case of GTM, what will be the syllabus? That is the component you are supposed to teach. That would be related to grammar rules and also vocabulary. Why? This grammar rules and vocabulary will be helping the learners to translate. If the student's native language is medium of instruction, and the uh, 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 sorry, the student's native language is the medium of instruction. Okay. Uh, uh, there was a joke. Uh, uh, Trainee jachche manush. Ek jo naik jinke jigesh kuchhi bhai apni kothai pora lehay pori. To bollo ami university the Bangla bivage pori. English version. In English version means there is still a portion at present. If you select that, yeah, you will be reading in Bangla history or any other department. And if you select and say to the department that I will be answering all my questions in English, 
you can do so at present yeah so that is students with proud he said that yes i study in bengali but in english medium i am supposed to write my answer in bengali eta bolar pore uni ari jay ke jiggesha kore apni ki she poren bollo je ami ingreji pori bangla medium Okay, that is very much related to GTM. That means the student's native language will be the medium of instruction. Okay, in case of teaching noun, grammar translation में आपने बोला है नानो नाउन माने होले विशेष विशेष जो माने कि जी कुनो किसी को नाम तार माने अमी नाउन पढ़ा थी कौन भाषाई in GTM students native language is the medium of instruction and it is used to explain the new words sometimes actually many of the learner many of you that's what we say that yes i can speak five languages ami 10 ta bhashay kotha bolte pari 5 ta bhashay kotha bolte pari kintu nijer matri bhashay kotha na bolle moner shanti lage but in terms of apni to eta bolte parben na analysis in case of mental and intellectual development when like cognition will be there understanding will be there so i think milton errors error present like he says uh, that yeah let me know and just according to my own conscience amake amar moto kore somosto kichu bojhar chok paiya dao oliver cromer charles the first milton ke bollo je apni ashen amar